Okay, listen up, YouTube. Uh, right now in the United States, we are in the middle of a deadly coronavirus pandemic. And there's been a lot of talk out there about masks and should you wear one and what kind of mask and where do you get them and, and mask shortages and all this stuff. So I'm going to cover this topic real quick and tell you what you need to know to survive the corona pandemic with a mask. Um, these two right here that I'm looking at, this is going to be your number one choice if you can get your hands on something like this. This is like a military-grade gas mask. Um, I realize most of you might not have these, but if you were lucky enough to pick one up at a military surplus store or gun show or something over the years or have this laying around, this would be an excellent choice if you had to go out shopping at a grocery store or something to wear to avoid getting the coronavirus. Um, the next best choice, or it may even be as equally a good of a choice, would be this. Um, this is a much more heavy-duty mask than these thin paper ones. This can fit really snug to your face. You can tighten it. Um, it's got filters in there. People use this when they're painting or spraying chemicals and stuff so they don't breathe it in. So this filters out a lot of stuff. It's super tight. Um, this would be your best choice for most people. Um, wrap a hood up around your face too. You know, kind of keep yourself as protected as possible. But... Um, these are very, very difficult to get, like Home Depot and Lowe's and places like that would sell in like hardware stores, but they're going to be sold out everywhere now at the time you're watching this video if, if we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic still, which we are right now. Um, next best choice would be one of these N95 masks. These are the most common ones you're going to see people wearing. Um, you can get these pretty tight to your face. You can squeeze and push them around your nose and stuff, and you can breathe out through that. Um, these are also very difficult to get, but if you're fortunate enough to have some of these, you can wear these when you go out shopping. It's not nearly the protection as one of these, but it's still better than nothing and it's still useful. Um, now if you can't get any of those, there's a couple other options. These aren't the greatest, but it's one of these. These are the thinnest, cheapest dust masks they're called. They fit very loose. They're thin. I don't know if these can keep the coronavirus out, but certainly better than nothing. You can at least keep large droplets from going directly into your mouth if somebody coughs or sneezes on you. Yes, stuff can get around the sides, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's better than nothing. If it's all you have, wear one of these. Um, another option is just wrapping a bandana around your face. Um, you might not want to get one with a skull on it. They might think you're robbing the place or something. But if you have a bandana, you could wrap that around your face. Again, it's better than nothing. Um, or take an old t-shirt and just wrap it around your face. Or you can pull a t-shirt up over your face when you run into the convenience store real quick to buy something. I mean, anything is better than nothing. Will a t-shirt and a bandana and this stop the coronavirus? I don't know. But it's, again, it's better than nothing. You can block large, huge particles from spraying directly in your mouth if somebody sneezes on you. Um, another thing you can do, too, is if, you know, if you're going down an aisle in a store and there's one person in that aisle and they look sick or something like that, they're coughing, one turn around go the other way. But if you happen to be going down an aisle with somebody, just hold your breath as you pass them. You can't breathe in coronavirus if you're not breathing. So hold your breath as you pass people in stores. Stay away from them. But if you're looking for a mask, these are your options. Get this or this if you can. Make do if you can't with something else. Stay safe out there. Good luck, everybody.